Well, hello, children. I am the ghost teacher. And today, I have a very special Halloween lesson for you. I hope it's not too spooky. <laughs> Today's lesson, children, is about a witch. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. I'm a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, yes cried the witch, and the dog clambered on with a tap of the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. I'm but a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! They were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand but no one could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the frog bounded on, the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy, but the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went, tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstack flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have a witch with chips for my tea. Help! cried the witch, flying to the ground. She looked all around. But no help could be found. As he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, 
Buzz off, that's my witch. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. She filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. She threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on with a tap of the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Ha 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 